everyone, this is Sunava. And this is Johannes. And you're watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And today we are talking about Wormspan, a new game from Stonemaier Games, designed by Connie Wogelman. It plays from 1 to 5 players in 90 minutes. Yes, and we already did a playthrough of this game earlier today. So we want to go and look at that to see how the game plays. Today we're going to talk about, or in this video, we're going to talk about all the different things. Like, this is going to be a review and there's also going to be a comparison. Because even though, like, many people are going to do this video today, but we're also going to do it because it's here. And we are going to talk to you about, like, the differences and what we like and, and, and how we change this wingspan. Um, because you might think when you saw this, this is just gonna be like a reskin, a wingspan, and it's not. No, it has absolutely many new things to add to the, the already classic DNA of wingspan. Yeah, so it has similarities, it has differences, we're gonna talk about them, and we're gonna talk about like, if we think this is enough differences and all of that, we can talk about later in the video. We are not gonna go deeply into the overview part because if you know wingspan, you're gonna know most of like what you're doing in this game. You are doing actions to play different uh, winged creatures. This time it's dragons. You're playing dragons into your different rows of cards. A um, few differences, we can talk more of them later. You need to play these cavern cards. Excavate your caverns before you can play dragons in them. You have these coins instead of the action markers. You're gonna have Six coins at the start of each round. You're gonna get six coins. You're gonna have a little few spaces for eggs We're gonna to touch more on these but basically you're playing cards You're sending your adventure out on these rows to activate different actions and trying to score the most points during four rounds You're trying to do these end of round goals You're trying to move on the dragon guild to get scoring opportunities and also different powerful bonuses and good resources on the way. You try to do all this, four rounds, play with the most points, it's gonna be the winner of the game. The game comes with components. Yes. And artwork. Yeah, and I really love the artwork in this game. It's top notch. Yes. Each and every card, like Dragon card, is unique. Mm -hmm. So I see like so much creativity going into drawing and imagining how each dragon what they should look like it even has a little leaflet with like description of all yes. the dragons if you're really interested and i also think the backdrop with this like aquarel i don't know if that is the I name so, of it yes. and, and the the cave cards is really beautiful as well yeah i, I love the production and the, the the it has like a different color palette you can see like for example this round track it was kind of gray like it's mm -hmm. not very colorful or popping but it's 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 fine. I think these are bigger than in uh, in in Wingspan. Yeah, it is. It's smaller, so this this there's a little bit bigger there. You have the Dragon Gale board when this is uh, removable, other than that's going to be the same. And you have like a board for the display instead of like having the card case. Mm -hmm. So in this game, there's not a card case like it was in Wingspan. You just have a baggie, put the cards in, and you use this. I think that's fine. Yes. I I never thought like oh I'm missing the card case where I have to place the cards from Wingspan. No, I agree. And there's overall good components in this game. Mm -hmm. And like the, the eggs are like the splashed yeah. with some different colors. Oh, yeah. But other than that, it feels familiar. I, I have to say like in, in Wingspan, like many people loved in Wingspan, the fact that they had the information about the animals, like the, the, the words at the bottom of the card. Yes. It makes sense there because everything is fiction. It mm -hmm. makes sense to a lot like, it's not like you're learning something. Yes. It's just like, like, if you want to know, oh, this is a cute one, but what does this do if you are into that? I really think like there's many different kind of dragons. You have these cute dragons, the angry dragons, the small dragons, the big dragons. Just so good. Yes. Love it, love it, love it. The game comes with... A rule book! It does. It looks like this. It has the Stonemaier way of making the rule books that feels kind of nice. It is a 15 page rule book with, I think, the solo mode. I think the solo mode is there. It's not. The solo mode is in another book. Um, so it's 15 pages. It's, it's a good rule book. It's not the best rule book. It has kind of a way that written like it's writing some things and suddenly it has like many very important things under like Additional rules, notes, and concepts. Instead of, it, it's kind of weird, like they crammed that in there. I didn't love that, but it's not a hard game. It has big pictures, a lot of examples. Uh, it's simple to learn, and, and really great thing I love. It has a little box that says, if you already know Wingspan. And these are kind of like things like, okay, remember that this is different. Remember that this has changed. Um, for example, like Explore Your Games from left to right, uh, instead from right to left, like in Wingspan. So there's many different ways like there are many it's a nice way to have like just a difference differences in the book really like that 
and uh, there is a couple of player rates which we don't use them yeah and most of the most of the information yes. is on your player board as well and that is basically the, the things that you need yeah yeah there is like a how to win card with just like uh, these are the different things to do to get points and stuff like that we love that yeah i love it it's here so that. if you feel if you like that it's here we have played a game yes we have we played it with two and four players and we have used like two hours with four players yes and a little also, over one hour with two players yeah just noting that the four player game it was a learning game yes uh, everybody had not no one had played it before so then it always takes a little bit more time we're going to talk more about player count uh, later in the video but basically for me it's a two-player game but we're going to talk more about mm -hmm. why oh now you're staying <laughs> oh you're gonna be like oh i can't stop this video now i have to know why it's that way yeah let's talk about the game the game is Similar. Yes. To Wingspan. Yeah, absolutely. If you saw the playthrough, you know, like, the, I'm going to say, like, at the top, if you despise Wingspan, this is not going to change that. I agree. Like, there might be, like, if you despise it for one of these specific reasons, you might like this better. Mm -hmm. But it's not, like, it's not a completely different game. It feels like somebody took the core concepts of a game. I was like, okay, how can we make use these things and make it into a new game? Yes, absolutely. You could also say that this could be in like, it feels like a standalone expansion of yeah. sorts. You could add like certain things as an expansion to the original Wingspan game, but I like doing it this way because you can, um, it feels more balanced when you when you do it yeah. like in a lone and, game. And I don't think you could because they have changed I so agree. many aspects I that agree. it's going to be. <laughs> so you don't agree with yourself, that's fine. We're going to start talking about the caves. Yes. Because in this game there is like a two-step process to playing your dragons. And I think that is really cool because playing the cave cards in itself feels rewarding. Mm -hmm. You both get the bonus from the cave and yep. you kind of decide then which caves you're going to focus on. Yeah, and, and it's kind of like a if sometimes you can be like, I don't have dragon's cards in my hand. I don't know what to do. Like in the beginning of the playthrough, if you saw that, I kind of just played safely because I didn't know what cards I was going to have. Uh, and, and another thing then that's in Wingspan, there is five cards in each row because you are going to be able to probably play more cards because you are playing. But here you might have been doing more actions. So it's kind of balancing itself out. But with 15 here, I don't think it would be any chance to get to the end of more than one of these roles in, in a game. I like it. I also like that it's kind of, as you said, you can decide which way, which uh, lines you're focusing on or which grottos, caverns, abysses you're focusing on. But also you can choose different bonuses. Yes. You can get like, oh, that's a cool bonus. You're getting that. Some of them are just resources. Some are pretty powerful, but then the other player gets to do something as well. Another thing that's different from Wingspan is that you're starting with two spaces for eggs yes. at the beginning, and you also get another egg uh, at the beginning of each round. Yeah. And that is important because mm -hmm. there's a lot of things that you spend eggs uh, mm -hmm. in this game. For example, doing these action, activating the rows costs mm -hmm. eggs if yep. you want to do it multiple times, and you also need egg to activate further into the cave. And also for many of the, the dragons, many of the abilities for the caves, you're paying eggs. And I feel like in Wingspan sometimes, I remember when I played it, that like you need to get something out to have the room for the egg, then you need to make the egg, and then you can use the egg. So it's kind of like a getting that engine going. If you need eggs at the beginning of your game in Wingspan, it's kind of harder to get that going. And I really like that you are getting one egg at the beginning of the round, and that you have two spaces, because if you end up getting uh, dragons in the beginning of the game that doesn't have another room for eggs, it's going to be harder to get the eggs and the spaces for eggs. Another huge change is the coins. Yes, uh, you have six, uh, you get six coins at the beginning of each turn. But Round? Can, yeah. Yes, yeah, so or else the game would be impossibly long. <laughs> if you go like six at the end of each turn, you're going to get like impossibly long. Yes, but you could get more. Yes. And that is both cool, mm -hmm. but it can also result in one player doing an infinite, feels like, mm -hmm. amount of turns because you have, you get some eggs, uh, sorry, coins, uh, coins from, from caves that you place mm -hmm. or from this Dragon Guild track or from dragons. So I, f I think it's cool that you yeah. can possibly do more than six actions. Uh, and in, in Wingspan, you get to do fewer and fewer actions. Mm -hmm. In this game, you're probably doing more and more actions. I feel like this is the biggest change of feel to Wingspan. Mm -hmm. It's a game where the rounds are going to be longer and not shorter. Of course, in Wingspan, you're doing more on your turn 
as well as here. So uh, that's kind of balanced in that way. But I, for most part, I think I like this. I think I like this better. It's because Wingspan also has another thing in the last round, which we are going to talk about soon. Getting eggs. So Wingspan is basically three rounds and getting eggs. Feels like most of the time. So the the coins is doing a great way of... And as I said, like, you can get more of them. Yeah. So we have played games where in the last round, somebody has done 12 actions. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many. We did quite a few in the last round here as well in the playthrough. Um, go and check it out if you want to count how many actions we did. But there is like, there is, it's kind of hard to get the coins, but it's also like kind of lucky to get the coins. Like yeah. you can draw the, the, the cave cards that gives you coins. Yes. Like gain a coin is usually better than gain two resources because you get to do another action, a full action. Mm, so, but all in all, I feel like, I, for me, I like it, uh, I don't know if I like it better, but I like it a lot. I agree. And it also gives you like a different feeling. Yes. Let's talk about the egg strategy, because we, that was one of the things, when I heard about Wingspan, I was like, I hope they kind of nerfed that egg strategy, and probably people who played Wingspan 60 million times can say different things, but it felt like the one row where you got the eggs, if you spam that row, and last round just like getting eggs, and trying to lay as many eggs as you could on your, I think you have like three actions the last round, and you are trying to get just like as many eggs as possible. Uh, can you do that here? It's much harder because you you have switched one row. Uh, you can activate out with uh, the egg row is basically switched with getting more cave cards yes. row. So you're not going just spamming that action. Mm -hmm. It's easier to get some eggs, like to have some eggs at all yep. times, but to get a huge amount of eggs is harder because you're using eggs for so many different things. I like that at the end of each of these rows is like a different kind of strategy. Yes. Like if you have, you can cash resources, you can tuck cards, and you can lay eggs. But if you want to lay eggs, you have to discard cards. They really made it harder to lay eggs. And there is like one action after you place three dragons. When you do the uh, activation, you're going to lay one egg. So if you don't have cards that gives you eggs, and that's like a strategy, if you get the cards that leaves you eggs, that's going to be a good strategy. But it's not a general strategy. Mm -hmm. You can't go like, oh, I'm just going to go for eggs. Mm -hmm. That's not something you can do here. Uh, it has much more to do with the cards that you're getting. Mm -hmm. Another big change that you will see, if you see pictures, if you see in the video, is that there's no dice tower. Yes. There's no random resources in this game. Yes, and I think it's cool that the dragons can just like get whatever resources they want. They're so powerful. Yes, they don't need to like wake you don't, up early. The resources you to find get the like worm. here, though, basically. So the dragons don't find the resources. They find specific resources most of the time. But yeah, I understand what you mean. Yeah, but I think that it's cool because you have it's you have a lot of luck in a game with so much drafting of cards, yeah. and now you have also like the cave cards and the dragon cards. I can feel a little lucky. I don't mind, no, nope. uh, because it's that kind of game. Um, but but having control over what resources that you can get when you get like to to choose something, uh -huh. it, it feels right, really nice. Yeah, I don't I don't remember Wingspan as being very often. I was like, oh, I can't get the thing I want, but it does happen. So, so I like the more controlled thing here, but it feels kind of more strategic in that way. Yes. Another new thing is the hatchlings. Yes, and th those felt really weird in the beginning. Yes. Because they feel very different from the the dragons in wingspan. The dragons in wingspan. <laughs> Zero <laughs> dragons. <of> dragons. <laughs> well, uh, I I felt like when I've played wingspan before, it has yep. felt like a little underwhelming or a little hard to master the the birds that says tuck a resource here, tuck a card mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. But the hatchlings, I think it's really cool because they are um, more specific in what they where they want to be yeah but also if you manage to tuck cards or lay resources on them you get super good bonuses mm -hmm. not just points you get that also but i think that is really cool it's a really nice thing they cost an egg uh, or two eggs i think all of them cost one egg and they're gonna cost milk because they're babies and they need milk to survive and they need to come from an egg so you are using one of the eggs so one of the other people dragon it's going to be the, the, the parent of yes, your hatchling. Yes, that is not in the rules. So the hatchling is going to uh, give you a set of bonus, and then when you like hit the threshold, which is always three things of that specific thing that they want, like a tucked card, a specific resource, all of that, then you are going to get a super bonus. But then after super that, bonus. you can also, every time you place something, for example, I have here one that wherever I place a 
a meat on it, I'm going to get an egg. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you can cash a meat every time you go there. But if other spaces also gives you the possibility to cash meat, for example, over here I can cash resources, and I cash them here, I'm going to get more eggs. So it's a very nice combo way when you get that combos going. Yes. Another big change is the guild board. Yeah. Show it off. Yes, it's really nice. I think the guild boards feels really powerful. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think it's nice that every single space gives you a bonus. It yes. feels rewarding. Mm -hmm. And it's always a little race between the players to be the first one or like to get to this space. Yep. Because then you place your marker on one of these spaces that gives you either points or really powerful bonus. That's true. And these are uh, changeable. Yes. So you have a different, many different Four ones. things. That you can get here yeah they are they are similar i don't feel like they feel like extremely different no. the scoring at the bottom is going to be the uh, the same each time all of them are going to give like a coin and something and these two top ones feels similar and there's an end of game scoring which is different each time i i feel like they add variability but it's not like they're adding like oh now it feels completely different you want to move a bit on that, but some strategies makes you move a lot more, which is always good. I agree, like I really like this part of the game. It just adds a little bit of a race to, to a game, a little bit of interaction. Uh, so far, the things we talked about now, do you like all of the changes? I do. Uh, I genuinely enjoy all the changes. Yes, I do as well. Uh, so let's talk a bit about if there's something we don't like about the game. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's gonna be the same as Wingspan. And that is that there is not a lot of interaction and I don't need interaction in my games. You know that we like to play many multiplayer solitaire games and in this game as well, I care a bit about what you're doing. Oh no, you took the dragon I wanted, you did all of these things, mm, but it's gonna be a longer game and the more people you add, like I'm getting, and you know, we play games in a weird way. I know people who don't mind a game taking three hours and I don't mind a game taking three hours. I love three, four, five hour games but I need to be invested at all times. And I don't get that feeling. And, and that's not like, it's not a criticism for the game basically, because the game knows what it's wanna do. I feel like there is more interaction here than in Wingspan because of the guild. But it's just like, if you have 0% and 2%, like this yeah. is not gonna be like, if you didn't like Wingspan for its lack of interactivity, you're not going to be like, oh, I love birds, man, because it's so interactive. Yeah, and you also, when you don't have the birdhouse, you're losing some interactivity there. So, so it feels like they're kind of the same to me. Um, but I agree, though, that the, the the big negative with playing this game with more people is that for me, I think, I think it takes too long time. For me, basically, it comes down to this. If we are four people... Am I going to think, oh, Wormspan, we need to play that? No, I'm not. I'm going to choose other p games that are going to be better for, for people. That So for me, this is a two-player game. This is a game I want to play with two people. Other than that, I can't really think about things I don't like. I I feel like, like it feels balanced. You will like or dislike the fact, like there's luck. And you will like that or dislike it. The one thing I might be dislike the, much, the most about the luck is the random case that gives you the coin. Mm -hmm. Because the coins always feels very powerful and that, because it's an extra action basically. And that feels to me that, that like the most random thing because you just get it. The, the, the coins you can get from dragons, you have to pay mostly a lot of resources for it. And like the, one of the ones you played that didn't give you like a lot of points but gave you coins. Mm, so I don't mind those. But I think like the caves with the coins is the thing I like the least. Yeah, I can see that. Absolutely. It doesn't bother me, but just know that it's there. And it's, it can happen that the person draws like all of them, but that's going to be like once in a blue moon. Like it's not going to happen often. So the randomness factor in this game doesn't bother me, but I think also it bothers me less when playing it with two people because... Yeah. So do, do you mind the, the randomness in this game? Uh, I think it's absolutely there, uh, yeah. but I think it's interesting also to, when we play this game, of, 
some games that I have played, I get a lot of hatchlings, for example, mm -hmm. and that really changes the way I play. Yep. Right now, I didn't get any in the playthrough. Yeah. In the playthrough, and that felt very different to me. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, you're trying to achieve these these uh, goals. Yeah. And that also, if I don't get any cards with this symbol, I'm not yep. going to go for that. If I don't get any small dragons, that will be hard for me to achieve. Yep. But I think it's cool to. Try to do what you can win what you have. So I, I don't mind the randomness. No, I, I agree completely. And let's talk just briefly before we go into the wait and who is it for about the uh, replayability or the variability, basically. Uh, what do you feel about the, the replay value? How, like, could you play this game? You think, like, usually we don't get to play 10 games like 10, 15 times. But Wingspan, I think we played probably 10, 15 times. Yes. So would you? what do you think about the variability? I think you could do the same with, as with Wingspan with mm -hmm. this game. Mm -hmm. I f feel like it's really cool to, to try to get a strategy where you, for example, ignore a row completely yeah. and just like focus super heavy on the two others. Mm -hmm. And then you have to, for example, if you ignore this first row, you have to get another way to get resources. Yes. And that is really cool to see, okay, if I ignore this row and that sort of, you can't decide that. No, it's you know, tactical game, decisions. You have to do that as you, you go. And then you be like, okay, I don't get any cave cards from this or maybe I just like do a, a bad action like once or twice yeah. but but you have to try then to get that in other ways and that mm -hmm. is super cool yeah I, I really I agree with you 100% let's then talk about the weight and who is it for I think this is a tiny tiny step up from wingspan it is yeah. in complexity not like you're walking a full chair uh, stair up to the nope. next level nope. <laughs> but uh, a few steps and and I, I think that if you like wingspan this is something different but mm -hmm. similar and if you like dragons this is an amazing theme for the yeah. game as well I, I i agree like i basically if you like wingspan you're gonna like this uh, if you like wingspan but it's like it for a few of things like the egg spamming all of that you're gonna like this better if you want it to be like it, it's taking away a bit of the randomness adding a bit of other randomness but all in all i feel like if you like wingspan and you have people who can play wingspan they can play this it's it's not going to be a much higher complexity not going to be a lot more i think basically the bottom line is and, and then i'm going to ask you a question because this mm -hmm. is something that people are going to wonder is it different enough to own both i think so mm -hmm. i i do and we are going to own both spoiler alert <laughs> <laughs> uh, but i feel like this um i'm saying this for many games nowadays but let's say bras and lancashire and bras birmingham mm -hmm. they are like the same game but they are different uh the different great western trail games mm -hmm. it feels like that yeah, uh, and I, I feel like this is the kind of step up from Wingspan that I wanted the expansion, the pollination or something. I don't yeah. know which expansion that was in, but I didn't mind that yeah. that's much. I like this more. Mm -hmm. Like if I want to step up from Wingspan, I'd rather play this than the expansion that I just mentioned. Yeah, I agree. So let's go into some final thoughts. You can start because that's how it works. Yes, I really love the theme. I really love the implementation of the the cave cards in this mm. game uh, all the changes basically i'm really fond of in this game the only thing is that you're doing so much on the last action potentially that somebody can sit for like 10 minutes and waiting for the last player yeah, to finish up i don't think 10 minutes is going to happen but like it, it can happen that somebody's going to have like four or five actions more than you uh, but I really like all the changes that they've done here. I mm -hmm. really enjoy Wingspan as well, but we yeah. don't play it that often. This is... <laughs> like every other game. No, yeah. but this is, as you said, uh, and Wingspan is also like that for me, a game that I'm going to take out when I'm playing with like, just you. Mm -hmm. Or like this is a, f a few player game, yeah. as I like to say. And, and then I think that I do enjoy Wingspan. If I was rating Wingspan, I think like a 7.5. Yeah. Then I'm going to rate this an 8. It's mm -hmm. like a little... I like this a little more. Yeah. Uh, I don't need Wingspan. Okay. I have this. Cool. Nice. Like they're, they're, um, I like everything in this better. Like I like uh, the, the, the resources that you can get, the, the ones that you want. Uh, I like the coins better, even though like there's a tiny negative, as I said, like you can end up in a random or a luck-based fa fact that you end up having... A lot of coins and the other people don't have a way to get coins but there is like some ways that everybody can put coins yes. uh, in like here 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 like there is ways to everybody help everybody get coins i 
I just I just think it's a better game. I think that they I think it feels a bit more balanced in in the way that all the and, and, but not to the fact where none of them are excited exciting. We talked about this in the fantastic game Terraform Mars the Dice game where all the cards felt horrible like it felt balanced but everything felt not interesting. Here I feel like everything is good but it's balanced in a way. Oh, this is giving you uh, very few spaces for eggs, but it's giving you a uh, little points. But it's a cheap card, and it's getting you a, a one time bonus instead of this. And then it's a bigger one time bonus because then it's just going to be laying there. Uh, I just think that I like I like all the changes. I like to play it. Is it going to be a game I play a lot? No, but for me, Wingspan and this, like I think if you play Wingspan a lot, you can own them both. And I think that for me, I don't need to own them both because yeah, if I am sense. going to play one of them, I don't know when or why I'm going to play Wingspan. It's so cute with the birds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like the game, but I'm not going to be sad to never play it again. Yeah. Yeah, and this is going to get expansions. I'm 100% sure. I, like, I don't know anything, but I'm going to be shocked if we're not going to get an expansion or two for this. So yeah, I'm going to give it an 8 as well. Cool. I think Wingspan for me is like a 7 or 7.5, so I, I, I like it more. Uh, Wingspan or Wormspan is going to get an 8. From both of us. Cool. If you got anything out of this video of value or just enjoyed listening to us rambling, then you can help us out in a big way by giving us a victory point. And we get victory points when you click that subscribe button. You can also click the bell to get notifications every time we post a new video. And this is going to be the end of this video. I'm Johannes. I'm Sonoma. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings and bye bye.